My name is Christian Stahl. I'm here today to advocate for judicial reform. I'm the father of six, four of whom are subject to a custody and support matter in Delaware County and have been since July of 2012. I'm a stay-at-home dad, my youngest two is two, and I'm remarried. Like many of you fighting for your rights, I have sought through the courts to correct the mysterious outcomes of the court. I've been to Magisterial District Court, the Court of Common Pleas, Commonwealth Court, and the Supreme Court of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. My brief back history was that I was a stay-at-home dad for a decade prior to divorce. My ex hired an attorney seven months before she filed for divorce, asked me to get a job to save the marriage, which I did, and then she moved to take my children and my livelihood. My ex is a millionaire, part of a billion dollar family with a connected attorney in Delaware County. Until August of last year, one could look up the dockets in Delaware County and see how it went that this attorney did, particularly with the judges and his, uh, the judges he and his uh, firm had supported in their judicial campaigns. The court administration has since shielded this information from the public, and it's not subject to a right to know request. My ex refused to allow me to see my children in the beginning. Her attorney told her not to even speak with me. And when they did make it into court, they said, I was hard to work with. She couldn't even speak with me. Step one in this process, which you're all familiar with, create and manage conflict. The master of the first jury we went, uh, the master we went before the first time had the audacity to tell me after not hearing evidence and just hearing opposing counsel's seemingly never-ending soliloquy that I would never have 50-50. Wow. This fellow spent an hour, I had spent a decade raising my children, and he just said, forget it, you could never have shared custody. In support, I found I had to pay my ex for watching my children. My base pay at the time was $60,000. I was imputed an income of $138,000. Left in a position where I could not meet my basic monthly necessities. This was compounded by custody court demands for counseling, $410 a month, and custody evaluation for $10,000. See, in custody, they can spend any amount of money one doesn't have to perpetuate the conflict and create fun for whatever they wish to do. Eventually, the same fellow would remove my legal custody illegally because my ex violated legal custody. Yup. He was supposed to state some reason for doing this either on the record or in the recommendation. Appellate courts decided this loss of a fundamental right was interlocutory, or as Bill would call it, moot. I'd eventually get it back. I'd have to explain to the kids I couldn't sign their field trip permission slips anymore and suffer some unusual embarrassment as a result. In 2017, I did recover legal custody and for a time, 100% physical custody after my alcoholic ex checked into an inpatient rehab facility. Yes, this is the only thing that overcame the master saying you'll never have 50-50. <coughs> Remember step one, create conflict. Step two, validate the current imbalance by pointing to prior imbalance adjudications. Along the way to me eventually having 100% physical custody of my children, there were a series of mysterious judgments. For example, my ex was arrested for and eventually convicted of DUI and endangering the welfare of children, charged for hitting a police car drunk with my then 11-year-old daughter in the car. The judge dismissed this in custody and opposing counsel filed for attorney fees, stating how frivolous this was. One month later, my ex again struggled and the judge gave her primary supervised physical custody, meaning anybody over the age of 18 could supervise my children and my ex, anybody but dad. It turns out opposing counsel and this master were pretty friendly, so I sued them for conspiring to deprive me of my rights. The Supreme Court erroneously affirmed Commonwealth Court last month and held that the master is immune an opposing counsel can therefore not conspire with him. 28 MAP 2018. What this means for all of you is that my attorney may conspire, or yours, with any court official, social worker, therapist, etc., and deprive you of your rights, unless and until the legislature makes a beneficial move. The Supreme Court of Pennsylvania also refused to hold opposing counsel accountable for numerous rule of professional conduct violations and unsurprisingly topped it off by not holding any judge accountable for not referring him. The judiciary is not accountable to the laws of Pennsylvania, nor the constitutions of the United States or Pennsylvania. 
Just look at Script v. Seneca, a recent case from Commonwealth Court, where the judiciary fired a whistleblower in Washington County for telling on them and stated the whistleblower law was an infringement on the judiciary's right to police itself, separation of powers. Call to action. I'd like to see transparency on the dockets and in the courtrooms. I'd like to see cameras in the courtrooms. Yes. Create a constitutional check on the judiciary, outside the judiciary, and end sovereign immunity for non-monetary relief, specifically declaratory and injunctive relief. Declaratory, explain how what you did was legal, and injunctive, stop it if it wasn't. <coughs> the JCB rarely lists a 1% of the time holds someone accountable. Campaign finance reform. No dark money, no funds from the legal industry, period. Simplify the domestic relations code. 50-50 shared custody out of the gate by default unless there is documented abuse or neglect. This is how it, has, this is how it works for all those folks who haven't ended up in a broken relationship. Community property. Nine states have this. Alaska has an option. When people marry, have them write up a stipulation on child support, which they are free to update at any time. Have them agree when they're agreeable to what makes sense, not conflict. That's my time. I have a few copies of my speech if anyone uh, is interested, seek me out.